The original Pirates of the Caribbean trilogy was decent enough. I was never like a massive fan of it, but they were enjoyable crowd-pleasing blockbusters with plenty to offer, a good balance of story, action, humour, and just generally speaking, decent fun. Of course, Johnny Depp's incredibly charismatic performance as the delightfully eccentric Jack Sparrow is certainly a highlight, supported by Orlando Bloom and Kira Knightley. Of course, who could forget that phenomenal musical score and amazing main theme as well. So the first three films were good swashbuckling, seafaring action adventures, especially the first two. The third one, at world's end, bit of a mixed bag. I felt that the film series was very much proof of the idea that you can just have too much of a good thing when it comes to these kind of franchises, because what followed was 2011's On Stranger Tides and 2017's Dead Men Tell No Tales. Two kind of below-par sequels that showed the franchise probably had begun to run out of gas at that point. Well, you know what all once great film franchises need to reinvigorate them, to rejuvenate them, to bring them back from the brink and give them a new lease of life? Well, this is a Disney project, so obviously what do you think is going to happen? Well, for the primary male character to be replaced with a strong, diverse female. Of course. And of course, the strong female character has to be a race-swapped one. This tweet is from Insider Unlimited Ls. Disney considers Ayo Edebiri as replacement for Johnny Depp in Pirates 6. Disney is reportedly considering Ayo Edebiri, apologies if I'm not pronouncing that correctly, for the leading role in Pirates 6, a film that would feature a younger cast of pirates in search of hidden treasure. The character she is being considered for is named Anne, and it's possible this character could be based on real-life pirate Anne Bonny, who was an Irish woman. Nothing about this would surprise me if it turns out to be true. <laughs> Look, honestly, how can you have a Pirates of the Caribbean movie without Johnny Depp? How can anyone compete with his incredible performance and energy and on-screen presence as Captain Jack Sparrow. I've never even heard of this actress before. Just so we're clear, Anne Bonny was an Irish woman, so, you know, fair-skinned. And I'm also thinking what you're thinking, ladies and gentlemen. The South Park meme about how they're replacing characters with diverse female characters complaining about the patriarchy. I mean, it's kind of been a theme of Disney, but anyway, please tell me this isn't true. <laughs> they can't keep doing this. They can't keep doing this again. The race swapping thing again. They're not only considering sidelining a primary strong male character in his own franchise, but they're going to focus primarily on a female character who is being race swapped. <sighs> Nothing's been learned. And apparently many depictions of the original Anne Bonny showed her as a redhead. So <laughs> yet another redhead being replaced. Now, Elon Musk chimed in on this story with a simple, Disney sucks. I mean, I can't disagree with the efficiency and directness of that response. Indeed, it seems Disney cannot resist the pull of that DEI money and moreover, will not stop until it has wokeified every beloved franchise and legacy film in its back catalogue at this point. If this turns out to be true, it would prove what we've known for some time. That despite the negative reaction among audiences online for such decisions, despite the fact that these kinds of projects then go on to lose money at the box office, that ultimately none of that seems to matter anymore to Disney, or at least matters a great deal less than it used to do. As I've said before, your cinema ticket now is no longer their primary concern when it comes to the financial success of a movie. All right, the box office doesn't matter as much because the money for these kinds of movies is also coming from elsewhere and helping to prop up these agenda-driven projects. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.